Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to fix a loose exterior railing. This will be a simple tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So as you can see right here, I have a loose railing on the exterior of my house, and I'm going to fix it really easily. Now what I will be using are these simple L brackets, and as you can see they have one hole on either side of them. And I'm just going to put two of them, I mean one would probably be enough, but I'm just going to put two of them in place to hold the railing down to the concrete. As you can see the concrete has just worn out around here, so I'm going to use the L brackets to sort of hold it in place. So basically, I'm going to be drilling a pilot hole for each L bracket into the concrete. Then I'm going to be using these Tapcon concrete screws to drill the L bracket into the concrete. Then I'll be using these little self self uh, drilling, these self tapping screws right here to drill the other side of the L bracket into the railing. Very simple. We're basically putting L brackets and we're securing them in place. Okay. Very simple and straightforward. I have my hammer drill ready to go. Okay. This is for drilling into the concrete. Then I have uh, this drill right here with the Phillips bit to drill the tap cons into the concrete. And then I have my uh, impact driver over here with this bit to deal with the, uh, the self-tapping screws. Let's get right into the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by putting an L bracket right here against the metal, okay? And I'm gonna mark the spot with my, uh, with my uh, drill bit right over here so I know exactly where I'm gonna be drilling. So make sure that's completely up against it. And I'm just gonna just mark the spot like that. Now I can move this and I can see the spots right there. I'm gonna try and get as parallel as I can. Um, I'm actually gonna put a respirator on for this just um, to protect myself from any of the concrete dust. You can never be too safe. So. Now I have my respirator on. There we go. That's better. Now I have my respirator on. I'm going to get the drill bit. We're going to try and go relatively straight down. I can't get a completely straight angle, but I can get close to straight. And let's drill down. Alright, so as you can see right there, I have drilled down. Let's get rid of the dust over here, just like that. We can now take off the respirator. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, L bracket in place, just like that. We're going to get the Tapcon bit, and uh, this goes right into the concrete. We're going to try and hit it at the same angle, roughly, that I was drilling at, which is at a slight angle. We're going to put the drill bit in place, and let's get this in place. All right, so as you can see right there, the tap con is in place. The L bracket is secured to the concrete nicely. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this screw right here. Now these are self-tapping screws. They're very useful for drilling into metal like this. You can see that they have an edge right here, a tip that allows them to be drilled right into metal. Let's switch up the battery onto my other drill right here. And now the goal is to get this self-tapping bit into the metal. Now, I'm going to try and get a, the angle right here. I'm kind of in the bushes right here. i got to trim these bushes as well. But I'm going to just go around like that. I'm going to try and just get this directly into the metal. Let's just go ahead. Uh, actually, that was in reverse because I'm doing this upside down. So let's try again. There we go. Okay. So as you can see right here, we've now put that in there. And I will say, it's still a little bit wobbly. Um, and I'm going to actually just tighten this up. But we're going to put one more bracket in place. Um, with just one, especially at the back, I should have probably done it on the side. It's not going to be 100%. Uh, it's not going to get rid of the wobble. Um, it's going to stop it a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to put another one over here. So I'm going to put this L bracket right over here. And this is a little bit... Uh, the reason I did it at the back first is a little bit weird because the concrete is sort of eroded on the sides here. Um, so we're going to probably try and do it right about there. So once again, let's get the respirator on. We're going to drill our pilot hole just like that. Just like that. Whenever you're drilling into concrete, you should always protect yourself in any way possible. So let's go ahead. We're going to drill down just like that.
Let's move this out of the way, continue. All right, once again, let's get the tap on and we will put this in place with the bracket there. Let's get the bracket in place. Now, it's important to know to the length of the screws that I'm using, simply because I wanted them to sort of not uh, hit each other. And this is a little bit lower than that, which is also important to note. So hopefully they won't hit each other. So I'm gonna get off my knees because my knees are starting to hurt. We're gonna drill down. Hopefully this holds a little bit better. Okay, that looks like it's holding much better. Now we're gonna take another self tapping screw. We're gonna put it in the side and let's hope that that works. If not, I do have more L brackets. Might have to throw another one on, but you get the idea at this point. If I have to throw another one on, you know, I'm gonna be doing it off video. Right now, I'm gonna try and go downwards with this one to make sure that it doesn't intersect with this screw right here. So let's go ahead. There we go. Okay. So now let's get that out of there. As you can see, it's already very sturdy. What a difference it makes already. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another one on the side here because it's, it's secure, but it's not 100%. So I'm gonna add one more on the side just to really reinforce the three areas. I should have really done one here and one here, but I mean, three is better than two, but I'm gonna do that off camera. But already just having those two makes the world of a difference as you can see. It is much more secure than it was before. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.